When, when you look at the actual practical implementation and usage you've seen until now in Jebel Ali, what are the improvements that you have actually seen, uh, both compared to what you anticipated and have there also been other positive developments that came out of this that you did not envision? So the, uh, the advantages of the box bay uh, are uh, slowly emerging and, uh, and it was really an interesting journey to, to find out more and more advantages. Uh, on the um, on the sustainability side, obviously the uh, the energy consumption is, uh, is is supported by the solar uh, roof on the top during the daytime hours. We generate more energy than what we uh, what we actually consume. Uh, but we also find out that uh, the more vertical that we stack, the ho the higher that we utilize the the container slots, we actually uh, use less energy because we can regenerate. 85% of the vertical uh, lift of that, uh, of that kinetic energy. And um, there's all kinds of additional advantages we find out. Uh, in, a, in a legacy container terminal, uh, the systems, and the systems are not always uh, up to speed in an automated uh, environment uh, as we have them today. We see that um, we're continuously working with container number and container position. And in the box bay, we don't do that. In the box bay, we look at the first available crane and the first available stacker crane. So we're much more focused on the distribution of workload. And that's exactly the Achilles of the uh, yard systems that we deploy as terminal operators globally today. And we also find out things in terms of uh, the way we stack uh, in, uh, in the high base store, you have import, export and transshipment in the same aisle. Okay, so if you want to uh, work with these AGVs that you see driving underneath uh, the high base store in a top grid uh, solution, it's very easy to dual cycle that horizontal transport. So you always put the container on the back. Okay? And that's another weakness of current systems. Uh, we see in a current uh, yard system that you get uh, at best between, let's say, 3 and 4.5 containers on the back of an ITV or AGV per hour. Eh? And uh, we can boost this much higher when we do dual cycle. Yeah, so there are many advantages also in the way we plan. Uh, we uh, are planning and, uh, and control teams uh, are now continuously busy with yard strategies and. Uh, and, and and all kinds of uh, location related uh, activities uh, and when you uh, when you mix import export and transshipment uh, you also don't have to plan so much and uh, you can put it anywhere you want uh, obviously uh, we don't put uh, the 35 ton container on the 11th tier uh, like you do on a ship but uh, uh, like, uh, it's much more easy uh, to do and to fill this uh, this uh, box this warehouse